Hey guys, and welcome back to the second half of my Wales trip. If you didn't watch the first one, I would recommend you go back and watch that video so you know what point we're up to. But quick summary, we have come away to South Wales, Pembrokeshire for a full week with me and my husband and my two daughters, Amelia, who is, well, they're both in the room actually. Amelia is one and Sophia. How old are you, Sophia? Three. Three. She's currently trying to get my brow around her legs, so that's fun. And we're also here with my husband Joe's parents and his auntie and uncle and cousins, are, they all live in Wales anyway. So it's a big family holiday, but we are staying in a cottage and I just realized that I did promise in the previous vlog to film a cottage tour and I didn't. So maybe I'll do that in this one. But it is Wednesday today. We've gone from Saturday to Saturday. It's Wednesday and today we are going to Tenby, which I have been to before. From what I remember, it's gorgeous little harbour town it's not such nice weather today we've had glorious weather i feel like i've got a really nice color on me and that's just from this week just from glorious glorious weather it's been like between 20 and 24 degrees celsius so very good for may half time I'm in wales I'm oh sorry that's not sophia that's mummy who am i then sister, sister. i'm sister Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit cloudier today and it's still warm. It's like probably like 18, 19, 20 maybe. But yeah, we're gonna go to Tenby. There's some nice beaches around there, so we'll probably let the kids play on there and we'll just we'll just see what's there. What are you girls up to? Uh, what do you want, Mimi? Hmm. Joe's making some sandwiches. She wants matcha with Ian. Matcha with Ian? I think you probably want chuck chuck or ice pop. Ice pop. You want ice pop? No. No. Ice pop. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Ice pop. You want an ice pop? Ice pop. Tenby South Beach. It's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. Wow. Stunning. Welsh sunshine home for blind babies. Let's have a look. Oh, this looks nice. Got an old castle wall. Ooh. Oh, this looks lovely. Presented to the town by uh, 18. 73? Yeah. So what do you think? It's probably a Victorian town, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Although this must obviously be older than Victorian. Oh, oh how cute Europe. is that? Ooh, well, Welsh sweets and treats. Oh, cute. That looks a bit good. It's called a succulent, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a cactus. It's cactus succulent. is a spiky. Careful! Woo. I mean, it's probably a similar family because it better needs water. Do you want to put it on? <laughs> you want to do it? Cool little place. In like the lifeboat inn or something? Harbour, tapping. Wow. What have you got, Joe? Corn sandwich. Very nice. The colourful houses. What do you think of the boats, Sophia? Nice. What do you think, Joe? Very nice. You need, you need to have a sleep, darling. That crane. Huh? What crane? Crane. Oh, yeah. I mean, just look. Do you want to see, darling? Should we get you out? We'll see if we, uh, Look at these views. You finished with that? It's just gorgeous. I just can't get over these gorgeous views. The sound of the sea. This is a house. 
So interesting. No, I don't think it's real. It looks real though. Yeah. <laughs> right, well me and Mimi have had a nap. Mimi? Mm, she's yeah. just waking up from hers. Mimi, Sophia, you've left her a tiny drink. I gave her a drink and she's drunk Amelia's drink. And Sophia's drunk it all and left her like a mouthful. So we are having a barbecue and Joe's cousin and auntie and everyone are coming round for it. So we had to buy a portable one because there wasn't one here. I've not heard it called a portable one before. A portable, um, disposable, that's the word. I'm still waking up. Ooh. This is the outside. It's not great, to be honest. Look. But it's okay. Watch me step. Yeah. Well, your shoes are on the wrong way. Wow, that road really is noisy. You probably hear there's like a mean road through there. Yeah? Don't throw it. Oh, you step in. Rosie, no, darling. No, Rosie, away. Away. Watch me. Watch me. Dog life, yeah? Very good. But the sun has come out now, so it's a lot warmer than it was. Yeah, we're just ready for a nice, nice evening of food and a nice chill evening, I think. Good morning. Happy Thursday for me. You are balanced precariously on a ledge. I'm... You're balanced on a slither of a window ledge and then the lens is resting on one of these. <laughs> Right, well, there we go. We are going to the beach today and the beach clothes. These shorts were, I found them in TK Maxx. And this is just like a random tank top. What, your hat? Yeah. So we're just getting all ready for the beach. Mimi, your hair needs doing, darling. We need to put your hair back. That's all over the place. Hat on. So we're going to the beach and it's Rosie's birthday today. It's Rosie Dog's birthday, isn't it? She's five. Got my swimming costume on underneath. It's so old, this one, but I need to get myself some new ones. It is Rosie Doug. Rosie, happy birthday. Shall we sing? Happy birthday to Rosie Doug. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. You big five year old now, Rosie. Five years old. She's older than you, gentle, gentle hands. You girlies. Girly, gentle, look at ah. Gentle, oh, lovely girl. She's such a lovely doggy, aren't you? Such a lovely doggy. Sometimes they love on Rosie a bit, a bit too much. Rosie, come to mama. Oh, oh I don't know, doggy. Oh, good girl. You're going to the beach today, you're a happy place. Having a cuddle. Hmm? I think Rosie would stay like this the whole day, wouldn't you? Joe's packing the bags. Right, we do need to do your hair, Mimi. Oh, look at him in those summer clothes. Joe's hurt his toe, so that's not good. Joe, how are you feeling that it is our second to last day? Uh, a bit sad actually. Yeah, I am. Time to get rid of the... Do you know this is Joe? You know, this is our longest holiday we've done since the girls have been born. Is it? I don't think we've done a week yet. I think we've only the max we've done is like five days, like a Monday to Friday type thing. Mm. So we've just had the best time ever. Honestly, been one of my favourite holidays. Definitely my favourite one since the girls have been born. I mean, it's hard to compare to like Rhodes or Disney because it's they're abroad, but as a family holiday. It's definitely been a favourite. This is our setup for the day. This beach 
has so many jellyfish and they freaked me out because I got stung by one in Cambodia. Whoa, that is enormous. We found a little crab. It's a real crab, but it's tiny. There. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's quite cold as you get further out. <laughs> the tide's really far out. It's a bit cold. It's still, it's still like sunny, it's just it's the breeze. Crazy. We've made it to the sea. The rose is loving it. Oh, I love it. I don't know if you can see, but there's like land all the way, all the way out there. It's just gorgeous. Classic stick of rock at the beach. We've just been playing in the sea. Um, hello. It's actually quite nice. shower because I was a little bit salty. Oh what a glorious day. I honestly stood right here now. Careful Sophia. Right, Mimi. Oh Mimi. Oh right. Stood right here. I feel like we're in Greece. This it's just glorious. This house even reminds us of like a Greek house but it's just it's just glorious. We've been so fortunate with the weather. Anyway we are about to head to Joe's oh head to Joe's Auntie Jane's and have a Chinese because it is his cousin and his cousin's daughter, the one who's the same age as Sophia. It's their birthday today and Rose's, so it's all three of their birthdays. So we're going for a Chinese and a bit of a birthday tea. It's our last full night tonight. Oh, just look at this. Look at this. It's just not a cloud in the sky. Oh, it's just glorious. It's a little cottage. Happy days. This is one of the best holidays in the UK as an adult. It's probably the best adult holiday in the UK I've ever had. Look at that glorious countryside. I mean, ignore the railings, but look at it. It's just... The sea, you can see the sea, look. Wow, where? Right on the top of the horizon. I don't think that's the sea. It's a lake. I think it was like... um. I think it's sun, sun, something. It is probably terrible lighting because it's a bit later now. It's actually, um, I think it's gone now. Um, I'm in the main lounge. I'll just give you a little view of this. Got cool ceilings. So this is the main lounge. Ceiling's really cool, isn't it? And there's actually like another front door there. So I think these would have been two separate smaller cottages. Huh. Anyway, oh, it's been such a good day. Another great day. Just loving this holiday. That beach was just, that beach day. It was just amazing. It was so, so hot. I'm just gonna put you on the table. There we go. Not the best angle, cause I'm laying down on the sofa. Um, but it was so, so glorious. Honestly, we could have been in Spain. In fact, I read that it was, I read that Spain was, you know, Portugal was 23 degrees and it was 23 or 24 where we were, so we may as well have been in the Mediterranean. So if you can hear a weird noise, it's like a toilet there and it's a bit noisy, Joe's just used it. I've just come in here, I'm gonna read my book and have a cup of tea. And here's my cup of tea, decaf tea. Before I go to bed. The only thing is that because I'm sharing a room with Sophia, we're in the twin room, that it means I can't like go up in the evening and read. Toilet is so noisy. Um, I can't go up in the evening and read like I normally would at home. And I really would like to. So I've just come in here to read because Jay's parents are still at his auntie's house. Um, but we had to come back to get the girls to bed. Um, but yeah, such a brilliant day. It's our last full day tomorrow. And we're thinking of going back to Folly Farm. Which, if you've watched part one, the previous vlog, then you'll have seen what that is. But basically, you can get, if you go, you can get your ticket, sorry, you can get your ticket validated for seven days from when you bought the ticket. So we were like, 
we go back and Sophia was being so funny. She was like, where did we go yesterday? It was like 10B. Can you remember on the way back and we passed Folly Farm and you said we could go to Folly Farm again? Um, can we go tomorrow? <laughs> this is my three-year-old. <laughs> it was like, okay, yes, we can go tomorrow. I knew she kept hinting because she kept asking when we wake up, where are we going? And she kept saying she wanted to go to soft play, which is a soft play, of, well, it's kind of like a soft play, it's like a indoor play. There's just so much, there's just so much to go and see the other vlog. I'm waffling so I'm tired. But we think we're going to get up and go there. So I'm going to read my book, have my cup of tea, and then we'll see you tomorrow. So as promised, here is a tour of the cottage. This is the outside, and then you come in to this very handy little porch, and look at these floor tiles. I absolutely love them. I just think they're so fun, so cute. Um, anyway, this is the entrance hallway. So to the left, you have a bedroom. That was my in-law's bedroom, so I'm not gonna show you in there because they were in there. And then to the right, you have this like open area. I guess this is like a bit of a snug area. And then it goes into the kitchen diner. It was a really great space actually. This is where we spent most of our time. And then look at this fun little cupboard. It has an old fashioned spinning wheel in it. It's like very Sleeping Beauty. I was very excited when I found that upon arrival. Then you go into the kitchen and it's really well equipped and I just love this style. I love this navy kitchen with this huge, I don't know if that's a bar or an island. Anyway, the bathroom is off to the kitchen. Nice big bathroom, well shower room really with a toilet and double sink. And then you go back through, it's so quirky this cottage, I love it. You go down these steps into I guess like a bit of a utility room. I guess maybe at one point when these were two cottages this would have been like a connecting point or an outdoor point I don't know anyway just really really fun little layout and again very well equipped with a downstairs toilet and then into the main dining room which is just so funky with the ceiling as I as you saw earlier and yeah that is pretty much the downstairs there's Joe just chilling so now I will take you upstairs oh and that's just the outdoor space there so upstairs and it's a bit of a windy stairs, quite steep actually, but then you just have a tiny landing and there's two bedrooms and a toilet up here. So this is the room me and Sophia stayed in, just a twin room, really good size though actually, you could easily fit a double in here. And then there's just this like freestanding wardrobe, sorry it's messy but we were packed, well pretty much packed at this point, amazing views. And then there's just a very handy toilet, just great for the middle of the night. That's pretty much it. And actually Mimi had just woken up, so I'll show you this room. This is just the other bedroom where Jo slept with Amelia. Again, a great size, a perfect cottage. We are back from the party, about to leave. The girls are in their pajamas. And we're gonna say bye to our holiday house, aren't we, Sophia? Right, should we say bye bye, holiday house? Bye bye. Nobody else to say bye bye. We're sad to go. Say bye bye. Bye bye, go. Bye bye, holiday house. Bye bye, go. <laughs> bye bye. I won't bring you along the journey again because it's going to be very boring and very long. So we will use some editing magic. Three, two, one. And we're back. <laughs> if only it was that quick in real life. I'm just in my conservatory. It's actually really sunny today. So I'm sorry if I'm squinting. Let me go into the other room. As you can see, we've got loads and loads of laundry. We've done, we've put one load away that we washed there that just needs to, sh to dry when we got back. And then I've done two loads out on the line and then I've got another load to do, which I'll do overnight. Yes, the journey was actually really good. I drove us out of Wales. I did about two and a half hours and then we stopped at services for a toilet break. Joe got a coffee and then he drove and we got back at once. We set off at 7.28 exactly and we got back at about one o'clock exactly. So I think it was a very good journey, but we're all very tired now. It is quarter past five now on the Saturday. The girls are getting a bit fractious. I'm starting to flag massively. So it'll be tea, bedtime and an early night. But 
Thank you so, so much for watching these two Wales vlogs, if you have. If you've watched both of them, leave a little Welsh flag in the comments so I know you actually watched both of them because it would just be interesting to see if anybody does make it this far. I never know who's made it to the end of the video. And yeah, more summer travels coming up, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell notification, hit all the buttons, give it a like, you know the drill, and I will see you on the next video. And Oh, and in the meantime, don't forget to head over to my Instagram and TikTok for kind of more daily day-to-day -day updates, but I am going to try and upload on shorts more as well. All right then, bye guys. Mm -hmm.